Hello everyone, it's Dark Sigi here again. Welcome back for another video. Happy Saturday to all of you. At least, I think it's Saturday, uh, with the UK still on lockdown. The days are all kind of merging together at the moment, so uh, I think it is Saturday. Today, we are heading back to wild mode, and we are playing Hijo's Reno Lock deck. So... Wild mode now to me is safe to come back to. The Wretched Tiller nonsense is over. I've had a lot of fun on standard mode and um, I will go back to standard at some point. I find on standard I can play off meta decks and still win. That's really important to me. So you'll still see you'll still see me playing standard mode in the future, but I'm I'm happy to come back to wild for now. So this deck here by Hijo, uh, there is no Nazoth the Corrupter in this Reno Lock deck. Uh, it just relies on Blood Reaver Gul'dan for your end game. But the key objective of the deck is to play Bran and Ticatus. Or is it Ticatus? If anyone knows the correct pronunciation, please leave a comment in the comment section below this video. But yes, that's the key objective of the deck. Now, I love playing Ticatus. I hate playing against it. That's the weird dynamic that's going on in my head at the moment uh, with that card. Uh, some other interesting inclusions in this deck. Uh, Wax Elemental. Uh, why Wax Elemental? Well, it's a taunt with a Divine Shield. Um, it's uh, cheap. It goes well with Plague of Flames. But um, yes, the Divine Shield taunt aspect of the card helps against very aggressive opponents. For, for example, King's Main Rogue. Uh, that will absorb potentially two big hits with their weapon, allowing you to then uh, stabilize with some of your other cards, perhaps. Uh, so I really like the inclusion of Wax Elemental uh, in this deck. So yes, a really, really fun deck to play. It's been doing well for me on the ladder against uh, fast, aggressive opponents, but also against slower opponents too. So let's have a look at the deck in action then. And starting out with Tecatus. No Cthune for our opponent. That's a good thing for us. Now our opponent at 33 health, including armor. Um... We had struggled in this game to, to do any kind of damage to them. I'm almost out of cards. And Brown Bronzebeard was still in our deck, so we couldn't pull off a combo with Ticatus or Ticatus. But the aggressive onslaught of our opponent is going to continue with the Crystal Runner here. I mean, we have ways to, to clear this board. We're not out of gas yet. And look, Tempo Reno, because, as I say, 33 health, our opponent has no reason, no fear of dying anytime soon, so they think, okay, we'll just play Tempo Reno. That's fine with me. Now, I've got this Kazakus Potion. We know the secret is not Counterspell, and I'm thinking, is there any way that I can clear the board here? Um, four damage to all... Five to a single target. Um, but with it being nearly 9.30 in the evening, my brain is tired. Math is really difficult. And so I'm thinking to myself, let's just put stuff on the board. Uh, Demon with Taunt and a Death Rattle is going to be a challenge for them to get through. I was not anticipating a duplicate, but I think that that was the best duplicate target for me. Uh, I don't want to give them any of the Renos back. Opponent not seeing AoE is going all in now. Lower Theb, they hope, will stop a spell from clearing the board. However, um... I can still play Hysteria, or I can still play Kazakus Potion. Um, looking at the health totals of the minions on the board on their side, perhaps now is a good time to play that Kazakus Potion. And I believe this is a full ball clear now. Now, that was not so bad to calculate. But there we go. Four cards left in the deck. 
there is no way they come back into this. So in the end, uh, Tecatus, I think, helped us there uh, to get to fatigue so we could win. Wonderful. Okay, let's look at our next game. It is against a priest. This scares me a little bit. I've been facing, even at this rank on Wild, it's not an especially high rank, I've been facing a lot of priest, and uh, that is frustrating to play against. So our hope against priest is to pull off Brand to Catus, right? And, oh, that's interesting. And to mill them of their key cards. So, um, Kazaka, not Kazakas, what am I talking about? Um, Raza. Uh, Kazakas is good to mill them of too, but uh, Raza and Anduin. Those are the two cards. Uh, if you could get rid of those, then you probably win, right? So I really am searching for Bran. I'm really searching. Well, I've got Bran in hand, but I'm searching for Tecatus. I want to take advantage of the slow start of our opponent here. Heals his face rather than the minion. Why? I'm confused. Hmm. Anyway, Void Caller. Um, potential liability in this deck. Oh god, of course. Of course, turn 5. They have Polkelt, of course. <laughs> Why would they not have him? Um, they always have him. So now we're on a clock. We we need to cast this quickly. Um, and we need to be able to activate it. So we need to be able to corrupt it as well. So, yeah. Polkelt means that there is an inevitable nature to this game now. We know what's coming. Um, but yes, um, Void Caller is a potential liability. Can pull Tecatus onto the board if you're not careful. Which is why we want to play it now while we can. Um, get a demon pulled onto the board before we draw Tecatus. Nothing to do for opponent? Oh, okay, sure. Draw a card. Yeah. Again, we want that draw. We want that to cast us. That's not it. Well, that could find us to cast us, maybe next turn. But we need to play enough cards so that we don't overdraw. Okay. We have a board of some relatively low attack things. They're not really going to phase the priest. That's really annoying. That is super annoying. Um, so, our hand is quite full at the moment. What do we play here? That's the question. I'm going to use my brand. Um, I like Tyrion here. It's pressure. And I just want to put something else on the board. Um... In this case, we've seen Psychic Scream. I'm going to give my Bran some health in the hopes that he survives for a bit longer. There is an argument to say that... Oh god, there it is. Um, there is an argument to say that I should have saved Bran, kept him in hand, waited for Tecatus. There's Tecatus, and now I feel okay about having played Bran. What a draw. What a timely draw. The gamble paid off. I found a new 
Okay. Deciding to play the demon over the Tyrion, uh, mainly because if the demon dies, we get some healing on board with uh, the death rattle, and that's important given our health total. So the opponent now, have they drawn? Have they drawn Raza? That's the question. Has enough time passed since Polkel? Of course they have. Of course they have. So we were not able to disrupt um, Shadow Reaper Anduin or Raza through to Cassis. We were too late, unfortunately, because they have Polkelt. I mean, if they have Polkelt, you probably just lose the game, right? That's the indicator. However, let's play this now and see what we can burn. Fine. Fine. Excellent. Well, now we have a chance, right? Spawn of Shadows, gone. Pretty much means that um, they're going to have to work a bit harder to kill us. I'm going to wrap two, just to get stuff out of the hand. That's excellent. And that's fine too. Excellent. So that's fewer cards they can play from hand. Uh, with the hero power. Okay. Brilliant. Now we can Zola the Tikatis back to hand if we really want to. Although I suspect in this game, opponent will play as much as they can from hand, try and get us as low as possible. We'll just play Reno, we can Zola the Reno if we want, and we just win the game. Mind if I roll need? But burning spawn of shadows is a big deal. A really, really big deal. And I'd kind of forgotten about that card earlier on. Uh, my brain was so focused on Shadow Reaper Anduin and Raza. Ooh, fancy play. Using my own brand against me. Brand can go now. It can die. It's done its work. Interesting. Trying to negate my healing. Still thinking that they can win. Through board pressure and the hero power. Seance? Wait, why did you seance that? Are you scared I'm going to bring Tecatis back to hand and mill all remaining cards and therefore want to draw a card if you can? No, that makes no sense though. Because you've got so few cards left. Anyway. Let's get in some armor. We'll play Reno first. See if they concede. No? Okay. Concede now. 34 health? 38 health? <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful win. So very satisfying. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hijo's Reno Lock deck. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know that uh, some people love Takatis, some people hate, hate, hate Takatis because. Watching your cards get burned is not a fun experience, I know that. Um, however, when you are burning cards from Arena Lock, when you are burning Raza, when you are burning Shadow Reaper Anduin, when you're burning Spawn of Shadows, it's a big deal and it's very, very satisfying. Because I also know that Reno Lock, being one of the more dominant decks on the Wild Mode ladder, along with Secrets Mage, I know that Reno Lock um, does not get a lot of love either from players. Um, when they see Polkelt being played and they know what's coming, they know their demise is on the way, they know Anduin's coming, they know Raza is coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. 
I know that Reno Lock doesn't receive a lot of love uh, either. And so I think playing Takasis, playing Bran in this deck, if it gives you the opportunity to, to beat Reno Lock, I think it's worthwhile. Okay, so anyway, um, Wax Elemental, by the way, you didn't really get a chance to see it do a lot of work in this video. But having played other games with this deck against aggressive opponents, I can tell you Wax Elemental does do some work indeed. Uh, at least buying you a bit of time, allowing you to stabilise a bit later in the game. Uh, in my brain, I am conditioned to expect to see an Azoth the Corruptor in a Reno Lock deck. Uh, I think all of the previous versions of Reno Lock I've played have had an Azoth, I think. Uh, so to not have an Azoth, in this deck feels a little bit weird to me. I understand it's not needed. Against slower opponents, you win the game through Brand to Katis, right? That's your big win condition. Get rid of their high value cards. Against faster, aggressive opponents, you, you don't need that combo. Um, all you need to do is survive with Reno and play a couple of minions and stabilize and you outlast them and just win the game. Um, so I do miss Nazoth though. And maybe what I'll do is try another version of Reno Lock with Takatis, but also Nazoth. Just because I enjoy resurrecting minions in that sense. Um, but well, yeah, I'll look out for other versions. If you guys have got versions you'd recommend of Reno Lock for the current meta that have Nazoth, then please do post deck codes in the comment section below. I'd be grateful for that. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, wherever you are in the world, and I know I have people watching my videos from all over the world, wherever you are, I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are keeping well, and I hope you're taking all of the precautions that you need to take to stay safe in this current COVID pandemic. And I will see you all again very soon, as always, for more Wild Mode fun. Until then, take care, everybody, and be good to one another.